Hello everyone, in this video I will show you a solution that can let you IS485 energy meter and integrate to Tuya mobile phone application so that you can remote monitor your AC energy meter data on your mobile phone. Okay, let's look at how it works in Tuya mobile phone by this Kinkoni Tuya Adapt V2. And you can see uh, this is a 300 meter C85 network cable because uh, this is IS485 energy meter, you can see. Uh, this is pin define, L in and N in, leave line, neutral line, and output, and output. And it's IS485 modbus protocol A and B. So you can see I have connect with this energy meter. Just you can see uh, by this way. Uh, this is address 225 because it's IS485. This is the AC input, this is the input, and this is output. Output I have connected with the socket, and this is load the power supply of my tablet, my computer power supply. And the IS485, and you can see here, I have only used this green and the right, just the two cable for IS485 A and B, because I also have connect with this Tuya Adapt V2, and you can see uh, this A and B for S485. So this energy meter just connect with this S485 bus, and the lead I will power on at here. And this one is Kinkoni Tuya Adapt V2. The white is Tuya module, and this is ESP32 chip. So we will download our firmware to this. ESP32 chip uh, by Arduino source code, it's open source. And let's look at, I will power on now. And this is my power supply, you can see, uh, this have the power. And now you can see I can connect with it, give this meat the power. And you will see uh, that have a display that should address 225. That is IS485 address. Also, you, you can see just the default is 225. And I have connected with a power supply for my tablet. And also, you will see the screen will be change the display. And we will show this the voltage, the current, the power, the energy. So you can see this band rate of IS485. 9600 and uh, this is energy meter, the totally energy meter consumer because it's new meter, so it's always zero because it's new and this is some different uh, power effect or oh, this is power voltage uh, you can see this is current uh, and this is power effect and this is frequency 50 hertz frequency okay just a loop display this information and now we will just let your mobile phone can monitor this data uh, from internet okay let's put that here and we can connect with uh, this USB port to my computer and you can see this is my computer and I will connect uh, the USB port at here to adapt V2 just the first time download the firmware and the lead I just use the power supply uh, for this adapt okay now we can see it here in our Kinkoni form uh, that have the, this is Tuya mobile phone uh, after complete you will see the current the date and the power and the power consumer totally uh, number on the mobile phone and you can see this is the Arduino source code, you can download it here, or you can copy and paste the code at here. So I have already downloaded just at here. You can see, you just need to change the sleeve address. Uh, this is energy meet address because our meet is 225. If you have many meet, you just change this address for you. And others not needed to change. So we have already uh, write this Arduino code to read the date from King Kong's meet. If you have your own meet, you can change this code. Just get the 
get the date and at last you will uh, post your energy meter date uh, to, to your cloud server by this, by this one, uh, just to command. And now we can just choose this ESP32 board by this board and this COM port have detected my USB port and I can click this one, upload, just download the firmware to ESP32 and just you can see here, just wait for a moment. After download, we will use the Toya mobile phone application to add this device uh, to phone app. Okay, you can see that began download. Okay, this is download complete. And you can see in our server monitor, we can click and this will print all date you have displayed on the uh, display on the energy meet. You can see uh, this all have print by this USB part. Uh, the current and the power and the voltage and the totally used energy. So this always can print. You can see the power voltage uh, 237. Okay, this is complete. Now we can add to Tuya mobile phone. And you can see, uh, I have already downloaded firmware to this USB32 chip. So I just use a, a 5 volt USB power supply. You can see, just like this one, I just connected it. So that can get the power. Okay, you can see, uh, this is very easy. And now you can see, I can open my mobile phone and we can add the device. You can see, this red LED is blink. That is ready to pair with the Toya mobile phone. So, so you can see, put it here. And make sure your mobile phone have enabled the Bluetooth. So that you can click add and add device. And you will see, uh, this have auto discovered and press add and this is uh, my load and as I said and the password press next and this will add the Kinkoni Adapt AC energy meet just wait for a moment uh, this also you can see is blink this is blink and when it's complete please press down And you will see uh, this energy meet, uh, we can change to home page. There is a new device, Kinkoni Energy Meet. And this red LED is not blink. And I click this one. And you will see in this home page. And this one is current. You can see this current. And this is voltage, the load voltage. And this is active power. And this is totally energy because the meter is new so this is zero so this can display all the meter state on Tuya mobile phone by internet okay this is how to use the to adapt v2 and integrate your ac energy meet uh, to Tuya mobile phone application so that you can monitor many different energy meet by one mobile phone by internet okay thanks for watching